Hi, Margaret with Vegan Raw Food. And real quick, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, dehydrated bananas. I already have some started here. And here are some of the finish. This is the banana chips. And I take and I store them in jars and keep them in my pantry. And um, we eat them just like that. We, um, my family puts them in their oatmeal. Um, we take them on hikes. Um, a great hiking food um, because it's light. Here are banana ropes. These are great. These are my favorite. These, I don't know why, they taste like licorice to me, and I love licorice. Um, maybe it's just because they remind me of licorice. So, these are very easy. I'm going to show you how to do these. So, first, I'm going to take my banana. I have it peeled, and there's a hole in the bottom of the banana, and you take and put your finger in it, and it splits open, and there's actually three sections to the banana. They're like little triangles. So you just take and run your finger through there and get them off in the section. When you have these two, you just break it apart. It breaks apart really easy. And this makes your banana ropes. And then for the chips, you're just going to take uh, your knife and slice them evenly, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch thick. And just set them on your dehydrator sheet. Uh, when I'm doing ropes and chips, I usually do my ropes on one tray and the chips on another. And I crowd my chips to where they're not like overlapping, but they're all kind of touching. Um, it works for me. Some people say it doesn't work, but it works for me. And you can also take some lemon juice with a little bit of water in it, or straight lemon juice, and dip them in that, or even spray them with a spray bottle. And that works great too. Uh, I don't ever do it, but it's good. I just I I need things fast, so I just um, I don't use the lemon juice. I just do my banana banana chips and my banana ropes just like this. Um, put them in your dehydrator about 105, 110, um, for about 12 to 14 hours. Just check them. You'll tell if they're mushy. You can tell that they're they're not good because you're going to want them to be. They're going to break. Um, or you can make them softer too, but you just want to be careful because you don't want any uh, mold issues. You can store them in the refrigerator. I don't. So I like mine a little bit drier to where I can store them in my jars. And that works great. So that's it. I hope you have fun dehydrating. Hope you're having a blessed day. Bye-bye.